Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Odoo WooCommerce application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update or export the stock from Odoo to WooCommerce. You can export or update the stock from Odoo to WooCommerce in two ways. You can either do it manually or you can do it using the scheduler. Before updating the stock from Odoo to WooCommerce, you'll have to set up few configuration. To do that, go to WooCommerce application, go to configuration and settings, select the instance from the drop-down menu, set the warehouse from which you want to update the stock from Odoo to WooCommerce, and then go to stock configuration. Under stock configuration, we have a field called WooCommerce stock field. Under that, we have two options, free to use and forecast quantity. Free to use means quantity on hand minus reserved quantity, where forecast quantity means quantity on hand minus outgoing plus incoming. We normally recommend free to use quantity. Make the appropriate configuration and click on save. I have a product wallet in my WooCommerce store. The product wallet has zero stock value in my WooCommerce store. However, the same product is available in my Odoo and the stock quantity for the product wallet is 20. I would like to update this stock value from Odoo to WooCommerce. To do that, go to the WooCommerce application, go to perform operation and from the operation menu, select export stock. Over here, we have a field export stock from. Let me explain to you what does this field means. Let's consider three products, product A, product B and product C. Product A's last stock movement was made on 1st of February. Product B last stock movement was made on 2nd of March. And product C, the last stock movement was made on 10th of March. Now, when I'm exporting the stock from Odoo to WooCommerce, and if I set the date as 1st of March, it is only going to update the stock value of product B and product C. It will not update the stock value for product A. Let's say you have a massive product catalog of around 5,000 products, and you have made the stock movement for only 100 products. When updating the stock from Odoo to WooCommerce, it will only consider the stock movement made by those 100 products and it will not update the stock for the remaining products in which the stock movement has not been updated. This way, it runs the application in a more effective manner and it does not impact on the performance of the Odoo nor of the WooCommerce store. So in my case, I had updated the stock value yesterday, that is 23rd of March. and click on execute. This is gonna update the stock value from my Odoo to WooCommerce manually. So let's go to the WooCommerce store. Let's refresh the page. As you can see, the stock value for the product wallet has been updated to 20. If you open the product wallet, and if you go to inventory, you'll be able to see the stock movements. Apart from exporting or updating the stock value from Odoo to WooCommerce manually, you can also update the stock value using the scheduler. To do that, go to configuration and instance, select the instance and go to configure scheduler. Over here, we have a scheduler export stock in WooCommerce. You can set the time frame as per your requirement. In my case, I'm going to set it to every 35 minutes. Select the execution date from which date you want to start the scheduler. I'm going to keep it 24th. Now, if I save this from 24th of March, it is going to update or export the stock value from Odoo to WooCommerce every 35 minutes. 